Hey guys, welcome back to The Humble Hippie. Today I want to talk to you about a business that I've started to set up. It is a candle business for now, but I'm hoping that it'll become kind of like a wellness business, if that makes sense. But for now, it's just candles. So I'm going to go over costing with you guys. So starting a candle business, how much does it really cost? Really cost. So if you've searched for this on Google or you've like switched on this video, turned on, clicked on this video, then I've been there uh, pretty recently in fact. I've read anything and everything you can on making your own candles. I've watched YouTube video after YouTube video on making the perfect scent, the perfect jar, the goddamn perfect product that someone on this earth might be enticed by. I was hooked in, conned, by a few articles on the internet. This woman started a candle company with 200 pounds. Now she's making like 50 grand. I'm a 17 year old boy and I'm a now a millionaire selling candles. Does any of this sound familiar to you? If so, I fell for it too. So yeah, you're not on your own. But don't feel too bad, there is a light at the end of this soy wax tunnel. Firstly, this isn't a video about me telling you how I create my candles. I have found a way that works for me after so much trial and error, it's unreal. And I will be covering that in a different video. But for now, let's focus on how much it's actually going to cost you to start this little journey. This is not going to be easy. Firstly, it's going to cost you more than £200. <laughs> Your equipment and material costs are just going to destroy that figure. And that doesn't even include your trial and error with creating jars and your first candles and figuring out how the science of the candle and the fragrance works and all that stuff. I mean, it all costs money. My style costs included a uh, double boiler, uh, candle wax heater, obviously you don't need that at first. Uh, I didn't start like for the first couple of weeks. I was actually just doing it with a double boiler. Now I've moved on with a candle heater. Um, measuring cups, but your basic stuff, measuring cups, um, chugs, digital thermometer, so important. I started with a candy thermometer, you know, just one of those like basic ones. It was just a farce. So save yourself some time and energy and get yourself a digital thermometer straight off the bat. They're about five or so. Candle supplies, wicks, wicks, stickers, nature soy wax, which is what I found is the best for me. I say candle jars, candle jars. Labels, oh my goodness, labels. Um, I have a horror story. Um, Basically, I, I went to Vistaprint, which is probably the worst thing I could have done, uh, which is like the major label manufacturer, because I really wanted my labels to look really, really good straight off the bat. And it costs me a small fortune, so don't do that. Uh, I now use Banana Print and it cost me about eight, nine P a label, so much better than what I was paying. Fragrance, if you make your own, uh, it's with essential oils and things like that, it's gonna cost you money. If you go to a fragrance supply, vegan cruelty free shop, like I do, uh, it's gonna cost you money. There's not really a win-win. I've reckoned it up on both sides and it's about the same. What is my hair doing? Uh, having curly hair, showered curly hair. So it's gonna cost you money either way. Fragrance is gonna be one of the things that costs the most money. For me, I use Candle Supplies, Dakota UK. Uh, I love the fragrances. They've got so many different ones on there. And they've got essential oils as well, if you wanna try that way. Uh, I just absolutely adore their fragrances, so that's what I use. Now, jars. Jars is gonna cost you some pennies. Uh, and by pennies, I mean pounds. Uh, if you're going to start off doing what I did, I wanted a few different candles with a few different jars and a few different ranges. <laughs> uh, if you're just starting out again, I recommend you start with one jar, 
get those out, another jar and get those out. I just got excited and my creativity was flowing and I wanted about a few different jars going on. So now I'm gonna have to sell all of those before I can create anything else. So yeah, just if I, I don't regret it because I absolutely love my candles, not to be biased or anything, but I do. So just do whatever you wanna do, I suppose, but jars are gonna cost you some money. Trial and error. I can't stress this point enough. Very few people on the candle making journey will get it right straight off the bat. Unless you're a unicorn and you've been put on this earth to solely make candles, which I suppose could happen. I am not one of those people. You're gonna make mistakes and that's okay. But you have to factor it into your costs. Uh, sometimes a jar won't work when you've ordered it and I can't stress samples enough. Get some samples. Uh, I was late to the party on this one because I like learning as I go along. Uh, yeah, just get a sample jar, make sure it's right for you and then like buy a few more. Sometimes when things don't work, it becomes a bit disheartening and you get a bit discouraged and you just can't do it. Put it aside, it didn't work, find something that does. All of, you're not failing at anything, you're just simply learning as you're going along. So there's no, the, the failing only starts when you stop doing it. I, I thought I'd use a particular jar, I thought I'd use wood wicks for one, but then when I tried to use in proper, real good premium wood wicks, they were really unpredictable about the lighting. So yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. But now I use 100% cotton wicks, which, are really really good no smoky crap on the jars no and they burn a lot longer as well so yeah i so you just you're literally just learning as you go along it's okay to figure all this stuff out just keep in mind that these will be a part of your costs now online selling make sure you keep a, a list of like where you're going to sell your candles because it's like etsy they cost you to list your uh, your products Amazon take a cut, Amazon handmade, uh, don't actually cost you to list your products, um, I don't think, but I think they do take a cut, so keep in mind all of your online stuff, it's like my website, my website now costs me £30 a month to have that up and running and a few little extras on stuff like that, so. Lastly, I would just like to say my number one tip is just get out there with your candles. Get your product moving, get people talking about it, get on Instagram, take pictures, make people find you. Don't wait too long tweaking your product. You have to be happy with it, of course, but just put it out there. You can transform it along the way. So the big question, how much money does it take to start up a candle business? With everything listed before, it's cost me about a grand to set up the business grand to get started and begin selling which isn't too bad when all of that stuff is listed including my trial and error including like my cock ups and things like that so and because candles especially have a really great profit margin I'll get it back so it's not too bad a grand's not too bad for setting up a startup business especially compared to other things I mean a grand's nothing in comparison to other businesses so if you wanna set up a candle business, just do it. It's relaxing, it's creative, it's kind of great for mindfulness, it's really kind of mellowed me out a bit, but just be considerate of your costs. Set yourself a budget, source your materials and jars and things like that from really great wholesalers. Also, don't get down about trial and error. I've kind of had like a wobbly and been like like a little paddy and been like when something doesn't work, just ignore it. Just like put it aside, start again uh, with something new. You have to test your product before you sell it to customers. So it's all just, you know, about doing it, about the journey of starting a business. Have faith in yourself. Keep learning just like I am. You'll be absolutely fine. Just don't give up and make sure you enjoy what you do. Uh, I think is the main thing. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Mwah!